This is Banjo, and today I'm going over the radio transmission trigger action in the mission editor for DCS World. In the mission editor, we'll open up the trigger menu, and we're able to see that I've created a trigger with a type of once, a condition of time more, though the important part here is the action. Here we're able to see the action used, radio transmission. The radio transmission trigger action has several parameters that can be configured, with the first being the file name. The radio transmission trigger action will play the file name on the selected frequency, scramble, scramble. which in this Alert example is the aircraft. scramble message from Falcon. Naturally, play and inbound. stop will allow you to preview the file. We can see one of the parameters is trigger zone. This is the zone that the transmission will emanate from. Modulation can be selected between AM or FM, which will allow you to send the transmission to any unit or aircraft. Frequency the transmission will be broadcast over can be set as well which in this case we can see is a six digit number with no decimal point. This means it is 130.000. Signal strength can also be configured, which for this example is set to 20 watts. And finally, a name value can be given for the radio transmission. In the example, I'll also demonstrate how signal strength and transmission range will affect the transmission being broadcast. When placed near Gadada, the transmission will be fairly loud and quite clear. When placed just past Sanaki Kolki, the transmission will be a bit staticky and a bit more quiet. When placed towards Tbilisi, we may not even hear the transmission. Starting with Gudada, as I tune into the scramble, proper channel, we're able to hear the message aircraft. being broadcast. We have enemy we have enemy Next, as we push the zone out to Snacky Kolki, we're able to hear as the signal becomes quieter with more signal scramble, noise in the background. We have enemy we have enemy and finally, in one more example, we're able to see as I drop the signal strength yet again, this time I leave the zone out near Sanaki Kolki. We can hear as the signal strength is about as low as it can get. 